I'm at James Monroe High School, joined by Maverick senior Shad Savage, the 2022 WOAY Boys Basketball Player of the Year. Shad, congrats on a great season, the state championship season, and congrats on being named our Player of the Year. Thank you, man. It means everything to me. Uh, it's, it's crazy to be here right now. Let's go back to the start of the season because you and I had spoken uh, multiple times, the motivation from last year. Last year, you made it all the way to regionals. You were hosting the regionals, and then the fashion in which Greenbrier West was able to win that game. So how much more motivation did that give you coming into 2021-22? I mean, we worked extremely hard this all season. Uh, we put, I mean, everything we did, we focused on that game, and that like made us focus on this season even more. Uh, this season's been... I mean, that was our main point at the start. And that was a very successful start to the season. It had a couple key wins at some uh, showcase tournaments. You went up to Tyler Consolidated, had a great week there. You had a lot of success at the New River CTC shootout. Was there any point in time that you guys really thought, you know, it was a good start, but it could evolve into something more than just a good start to the season? I mean, we took it game by game. Every game we focused on, like, the next opponent. And we grew as a team. We had a lot of injuries at the start, but... We all we all came together, and I feel like we got better as, as each game went. So we, I mean, we just focused on that next game. We didn't really focus on the end goal. And uh, that success, though, would continue into the postseason, uh, being the number one seed again for sectionals and uh, winning the sectional title game against Greater Beckley, being able to host regionals against Greenbrier West and get the win against the Cavaliers. How satisfying was it, especially because of the way last season ended? Did it make it? Were you guys able to appreciate it more because of last season? It meant everything to us. Uh, when we won that game, we we knew it was our it was our time to show. Uh, Going going into that game, we really I mean, it was the most focus we ever had. We we knew what we had to do, and we took care of business. And you know, postseason we you know. Went game by game, I guess. And game by game, that success led into the state tournament. They were the one seed in class single A, a very comprehensive win against Madonna in the quarterfinals and then against St. Joe's in the semis. How was that in terms of not letting the big stage of the Charleston Coliseum affect you in a negative way? Because it, it certainly did not affect you. It didn't look like it on the court. That first minute, it was I was a little nervous just because it was a big arena. It was the first time in front of thousands of people. But then after that, it was just us playing basketball. It was me playing basketball out there, you know. I, I feel like I shot the ball pretty well there. It was, I mean, I just took it as a game. I didn't really focus on, like, the fans and the arena. I just took it as a game, and that's what we did. Right into championship Saturday against a greater Beckley team that you had already seen multiple times throughout the course of the season. How much more motivated were you for that game looking back on it now because it was against the Crusaders team that you were already familiar with? Yeah, I mean, we played them three times before that, so we really knew we didn't really have to game plan too much. And we already played it in the Coliseum the first two games, so we really weren't nervous before that game. We came into it with really just fire in our eyes because we were, I mean, it was our last, some of us, our last go around, and it was just, it meant a lot to us out there, and we just came out to, we came out from the start just firing, so. You had five three-pointers in that first half alone, and then it was a situation where you were able to just stay ahead, keep the momentum, and how were the emotions those final few minutes when you got the ovation, when all the starters got the ovation to come off the bench and enjoy those last few minutes? It was just, we did it. We did it, man. We, uh, it was, it meant everything to me. It was the last time I was on the court with Dad. It was the last time I was on the court as a James Durham Maverick, and going out with a championship means everything to me. Those last that final seconds, I heard that buzzer sound. I knew we did it. And you've mentioned uh, the fact that your father, Matt, is the head coach. There have been many instances in, uh, in additional sports of you know coaches with their sons on the team. How, how has that dynamic been for you guys the last four years? It, it's been incredible. A lot of memories have been made, uh, a lot of big wins. Um, it's just sharing the court with your dad is unlike any other thing in the world. Uh, it's stuff you can look back on in 20, 30, 40 years. Um, that's something I can tell my kids about. I mean, sharing the sharing the court with dad and going out with the championship, uh, it's just, it means everything to me. You mentioned after the state championship game that you had a granola bar uh, the morning of that state championship game. Has that been your typical pregame meal or? Oh, no, that was just, we'd never played in the morning like that. And coming in the morning, uh, it was just eat something light. You don't want to have anything heavy out on the court. So 
I feel like I played pretty good with Gruden Bar. <laughs> what has your typical pregame meal been then uh, since you say that was a one-time deal? It's just been like Subway or like something like that and Dairy Queen. Anything, anything because normally you, you had to wait for like the JV game and you play a little bit later. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I need to eat Gruden Bars more. <laughs> now, as a senior, the high school basketball chapter of UIF is finished. Uh, you were speaking uh, with your father. I've heard you are uh, considering, strong considering basketball in college. Uh, what's your What's your situation? regarding that right now right now I'm still looking at colleges uh, I hope to make a decision here soon hopefully uh, you know it just depends on I'm more focused on education too just because I know basketball won't be my ever like be there for a lifetime so but I really do look forward to playing basketball in college it's uh, it's been a dream of mine since I was a little kid so that's my that's my goal and uh, what's going to be your one lasting memory of your time with James Monroe? Because there are a lot of memories. Does one stand out above all, all, all the others? I mean, definitely a championship, just because that's the biggest stage. We performed on the biggest stage. And, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. That's definitely my favorite memory of James Monroe. But, I mean, there's a lot of other memories that make my career whole. Uh, we've done a lot of stuff as a team, like even off the court, just involves basketball. Uh, We've had a lot of big wins over the past four years, but that championship, that, that tops everything. But that will serve, hopefully serve him well into the next chapter of his life. Shad Savage, congratulations again on being the WOAY Boys Basketball Player of the Year for 2022. Thank you, man. It means everything to me. Thank you.